Hey, my name is Nathaniel, and today I'm going to show you how to record a multi-track song on the keyboard. The keyboard I'm going to be using is a Casio WK200, so if you have a different keyboard, there will most likely be some differences in how you make the song. However, the same general process will apply. The song I'm going to use as an example is 10,000 Reasons, Bless the Lord, by Matt Redman. Having the knowledge and skill to do this can be fun because you get to experience making your own music, listening to it, and playing it. Also, it's fun to trick your friends into thinking that you have a magical keyboard. What you're going to need to make a song on the keyboard is a keyboard that allows you to do multi-track recording. If you don't have one, you can find one online or at a local music store, or just follow along. Also, you might want to have a paper and writing utensil handy. And now I'm going to show you the steps to making your song. The first thing I usually do after picking the song is I make an outline of the recording on paper. I put the number of the recording, the number of the tone I'm going to use, and the part. Like I have right here, vocals, piano, chords, hi-hats, drum, and bass. First I'm going to record the hi-hats, which is tone 554, using notes B and E flat. The first thing I do when I'm recording is I usually start with the percussion, so I can keep the same tempo at the same time. First, push the recorder button on the left of your screen before every time you record a part. To choose your tone, push the tone button on the right and the number of the tone, which is 554 for percussion on my keyboard. Then push the recorder button again and make sure the one in the screen is flashing for your first time. I can use the built-in metronome so I keep the same tempo the whole time, but you can use your own metronome or you don't even have to use one. After you're done recording each part, push the play stop button right here, or start stop, to stop the recording. For the second part, push recorder again, and make sure the one is flashing. Then push the one button, or TR2 for trial two, and then the second number will be flashing. Choose your tone again by pushing tone and putting in the number. For me, will be 554 for the drum set because I'll be doing percussion again. And then just start playing whenever you're ready. When you're done recording your second part, push the recorder button again and the two, or trial three, for your third part. Push tone and put in the tone number, which for me is going to be 037 because I'm going to do the vocals now. And start playing whenever you're ready. Try to listen to the song after each part is added. Since I have six recording tracks on this keyboard, I like to try to use them all. However, for the sake of time, I only showed the first three out of the six of the recording tracks. So keep doing the recording process again until you have your whole song ready and have used all of the tracks. When you're done recording your whole song and you want to listen to it again, push the record button and make sure all six parts, or however many you use, light up on the screen and then push play and hopefully it'll sound something like this. So that, simple or complex as it may be, is how to record a multi-track song on the keyboard. Remember, I specified the instructions to my keyboard, a Casio WK200, but in general, the same process can be followed with most other keyboards. So now that you know how to make a song, listen to and enjoy your creations, and have fun.